What's going on, good people? This is your man, Ja, with they call me Ja.com, coming to you with the second to last of the March Madness series, where we're mad about not having the life that we deserve and we're doing something about it. And I hope you have been doing that here in this March Madness series or whenever you see it. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, this is your life. This is your life, and you deserve the best. No matter what age you are, you deserve the best. You deserve more, and you have to decide to give yourself more. And so today's subject is going to be about life, speaking life over your success. Look at this image here. It's a beautiful image. The question is simply this, though. Is it a sunrise or is it a sunset? And depending on how you look at it, may be a reflection of the success you're creating. Meaning that if you are involved in doing something, a home business, an activity, whatever you're doing to create success, and you get involved, you're excited at that moment, and challenges will occur. As a matter of fact, one of my famous lines in talking and coaching and mentoring people is you can rest assured that as soon as you get started on the right journey, something is going to occur to challenge you to see if you really want to make that journey to success. There are going to be pitfalls and pit holes and all that kind of stuff is going to come up, but you're certainly going to be challenging. You must fight through those challenges. And so as these things come up, you have an option to either choose to speak life over your success or death. And so using this image of the sunrise or sunset, I want you to ask yourself, have you been speaking a sunrise or have you been speaking a sunset? Because if the sun is setting, then you're moving into darkness and that's not exciting. But if the sun is rising, then you know that the light is coming and brightness and great things are evolving out of that light. And so no matter what the circumstances are, you must continue to always speak sunrise language. You must always speak life. You must find a way to think life. And I think that is one of the greatest things that happened to me when I was challenged to the utmost to make a decision in my life to either settle for crumbs, as I've said, or to decide to go for the entire loaf. And when life comes at you fast, especially the older you get, the greater challenges you have, and then you get to looking at a opportunity to increase your income, to eliminate your debt, reduce taxes, better yourself, whatever your goals or dreams are. And you've been beat up by life and you start to say, as you get older, well, let me just get half the loaf. Let me get a slice of the other loaf. Uh, you have to make a decision that you're going to go for the entire loaf until the, all the days of your life. All the days of your life is about going for the entire loaf and, and may you get it but never settling for crumbs. And so speak life over the success you want to have. Speak life over the challenges that you incur so that you can rise up out of them like a sunrise. Speak life. Stop saying I can't when you're telling your children you can and you're an adult talking all about what you can't do. Learn what you need to learn to prosper, to be greater. It may be marketing, it may be communicating, it may be mental, uh, you know, mindset, whatever it is, speak life into it. And when you speak life, because you have used March Madness to plant the seeds of the greatness that you desire, that's what you've been doing. That's what March Madness was about. March into success. And so you've been planting those seeds to have that greatness. Don't you dare, don't you dare look at this image and see a sunset. Make sure you see a sunrise. And I look forward to seeing you at high noon. Hey, this is your man, Ja, at theycallmeja.com. I look forward to bringing you that last 
great tip to move you towards success in March Madness on March 31. So be on the lookout. Hey, until then, make sure you have a successful day.